I'm Dr. Doug Maxiner, the creator of examzoom.net, and in this video I want to explain the concept of Q-values. I define the term Q-value to stand for quantitative value. This Q-value is a type of definition describing what tissues or regions of the body are tested by an individual physical exam procedure. There are two types of Q-values on examzoom. The first type is multi-regional. These tests require more than one region of the body to function properly in order to achieve a passing score. For example, an aptly scratch test requires proper functioning of the shoulder, elbow, and thoracic spine. If a patient is not able to successfully complete the motion, all we can deduce is that at least one of the parts is not working. We need to isolate the different regions and see how they function either with fewer regions or even down to a single region. The second type of Q-value is regional. A single region Q-value allows us to look at specific tissues within the region and gather more detail. Using Q-values, we can determine if we have properly assessed the appropriate tissues in each region. Here is a list of the different regions available for multi-regional Q-values. As stated before, there can be multiple regions selected for each Q-value, and there can be more than one multi-regional Q-value for each test. Here is a list of the different tissues and systems available for defining a regional Q-value. Once again, we will often have multiple systems involved in a single test. Let's look at Q-values in action. Here is a test to assess ankle dorsiflexion. As I mentioned before, Q-values are customizable. This means that multiple people can have different definitions of what a test is evaluating. In this case, one person has defined the test as having a multi-regional Q-value where both the knee and the ankle need to be functioning properly to have a passing test. Another person has defined it as having a single region Q-value and assessing ankle joint and posterior soft tissues. As clinicians, we can choose the definition that best matches with our understanding of a particular test, but also gain some insights into the ways other clinicians are thinking about a particular test. There is an area below each test for each Q-value that allows registered users to interact with each other and come to understand best practice guidelines. Check out some of our other videos on Q-values for search and Q-values for data visualization. Please leave any comments or questions in the YouTube section below or send us feedback on our website at examzoom.net.